Coming up in today's episode. I don't think that's violence. It doesn't make a difference. What do you mean it, it doesn't, doesn't make, make a, a difference. difference? Does it outweigh not eating meat and it's not even close for me? Compassion takes guts. Choose veganism. Why are some animals friends and others food? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Why are some animals friends and others food? Ah, good question. No clue. The ideal answer would be that shouldn't be the case. I would never eat my cat. I love my cat. So yeah. why do I eat cows? I don't know. Well, I guess because we have to eat. I would never eat a dog, though. Can you think of any moral justification that we do take the life of those animals if we don't have to? No, and it, when you make me think about it, it makes me sad, but... Um, it's a natural response. <laughs> what would it take for you to eat dog? I would have to be completely and utterly at my complete last of options. I mean, that's like, to me, right up there with cannibalism. I love dogs, so... Mm. So again, it goes back to the question, why do we love some and not the other? Just what we're used to. When you ask that question, in your mind, rationally, you say, yeah, it's wrong. Yeah. If you don't want to change it, you don't want to talk about that, it. That's a good point. Turn a blind eye, it's so much easier. If we were on the other end of that, we would want someone fighting for us. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you say it starts with? Do you th would you say it starts with us? Starts with businesses. Well, who funds the business? The people. It's proven there are health things that are good for you out of the eating animals. Like cholesterol, diabetes, oh, heart okay. disease. Diabetes, yeah, okay. I guess you could go there. Not everybody is grass eaters. Well, I eat exclusively grass. Yeah. Grass and tofu. Mm -hmm. You should see my lawn. It's amazing. Well, you look, you look healthy, you Thank know. You. Thank you. <laughs> so if, we, if we're not here for like a survival situation, why do we take the life of an animal that doesn't want to die? There's a difference between humans and there is a difference between animals. Which is? In my opinion. Oh, that's okay. That's and just and we're, here to, we're here to discuss it. I appreciate you answering the questions, but it's if we had the choice to, to choose something else that didn't involve violence and death, would, why would we not gravitate more towards that versus what we can currently do now? Because I don't, I don't think it's violence, and I don't think that's violence. Have you seen the, the footage yeah. of... But I also think that there's two sides to every story. Why are some animals friends and others food? Yeah. Can't they be both? Would you eat your dog? Uh, no, I really wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't eat our cat either. <laughs> so maybe they can't be they can't be both, right? No, you're right. So why do you think it is the way that it is? We treat some as friends and we love them so much that we would never ever question eating them. But with other animals, we kind of turn a blind eye and we say, well, that's just the way it is. And why not offer them the same level of compassion? Maybe not have them as pets, but maybe just respect them enough to just want to leave them alone. I don't know how to answer that question. That's a good one. Have you ever seen slaughterhouse footage and how they treat the animals? Yeah, of course. But you're also talking to someone that makes their living from selling dead animals. I'm not super proud of it, but that's just the, the card that I've drawn. <clears throat> I was also a very hardcore vegetarian for a number of years, so I, I kind of see both sides mm -hmm. of... Uh, of the coin or the equation or the yeah. question if you will and, and i can see where you're coming from obviously you make a living off this stuff right. you're, you're going to have a certain frame of mind and i get i get all that do you think uh if you know better you should do better or at least at the very least consider it sure the, oh, yeah. at the end of, of everything we should do these things right that's a good question one that i cannot answer <laughs> because i think they should all be friends oh there you go okay are are, are you vegan actually no i'm not have you thought about it I have. But what I like good fish. Fishes are amazing. Can I tell you a little bit about fishes? Uh, yes, we have five fish tanks, so thank That's, you. So you already know, right? Yes, I do. They have family, friends, social structure. They create works of art on the ground floor. They uh, perform business transactions between each other. They look after each other when they feed. They're beautiful animals. But I also know that my family came from fishermen, so I can't help that, okay? We eat meat, but we're animal lovers. I don't have a good answer for that. There isn't a good answer. I, I don't have an answer for that either, which is why I'm asking asking people maybe I'm missing something. I didn't have that perspective seven years ago. It's a cow is a cow and we just eat it. I never thought about it. But unfortunately we're still gonna eat meat. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's okay. I said yeah. that too. Now don't don't say that forever. Oh god I see the V. I yeah. should have guessed yeah, that. Yeah. Um <laughs> I don't have a moral dilemma with it. So we're coming at it from two different standpoints. I'm also a competitive athlete and uh, achieving my protein goals without animal protein is extremely difficult. It's extremely expensive. Does it outweigh not eating meat and it's not even close for me? There are Olympians, championship athletes and a number in NFL, NBA, you name it, uh, cyclists. They, less than 1%. They, they have well, they're less than one percent of vegans in the world. So it's it's along the same line. So you can get all your protein goals. You have millions of dollars to spend on it. 
No, uh, lentils, rice, beans. Right. It's, it's very it's cheap. It's tofu is very cheap. So then you have to mash. We, tofu is terrible. We have all amino body. acids in, in all of it. Tofu is terrible for the male body. <laughs> uh, I, I don't want to go back and forth, but I do just want to say the it's game. Just, it's the just game chambers. Science. It's incomplete science. Game Changers is a waste of a documentary. It was paid for by the paid for by the vegan industry. Every one of those athletes. Um, Which vegan industry? Uh, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who does he support? That he puts a ton. He's of not. Into? He's not vegan. Um, he supports a vegan protein brand, but he's not vegan. Do plants have sentience? What you try to do is get, I, get to this. this I, I need no, no, no. no it's it. not heated, bro. Like, it's not like, heated. Like, it's a like great I conversation. I, I want, I want like you to just say, answer the question. Have... Do do plants have sentience? What's that? Sentience is a uh, central nervous system, the ability to think, respond, perform actions. They bleed. They breathe. They. Uh, you see the tree when you when you hit it and sap bleeds out of it. Sap. Yeah. Well, if you hit a tree, sap. Yes. Plants have stimuli and they respond, but they don't actually think. They don't Everything feel. They don't have everything consciousness they don't everything, have everything any of that that's stuff. alive everything that's alive what would be I, I need you to answer this question we got to stay consistent we have to have some sort of honesty you, here wait a minute, I'm honest. if, if i chop down this tree is that going to be the same as me slitting the throat of an animal exactly the same exactly were, the same yeah because they were both alive so with all of the all, all of the plants that we feed these animals that we breed into existence the 81 billion land animals we breed into existence all those plants have to die for those animals that we breed into existence plants are dying animals are dying it's the same on each side whether we're either, either way you go nobody actually felt bad for mowing their own yard absolutely nobody in the history of the world but people do but feel you, bad you, when they have to take the life of the animal so you can go to the to the to the grocery store and you buy vegetables those vegetables are alive now you keep saying that vegetables are alive you're you're, look, you're gonna tell me that you're looking at a broccoli and you're saying that Wait that had sentience you can't you can't choose the sentience when that's alive and an animal we're, is we're alive we're discussing so does it hurt you that plants feel pain apparently everything affects me when it feels pain no, but so see you now you sound like a plant activist you no, should you should become a no, plant right activist no this dog as right long here, as this dog right here could you take the life of that dog versus mow your own yard? What, what is what is the difference? Wait a see, there, there, see, there you go trying to versus you no no right. you trying to you trying to get me to fit into a box. Like, see if that dog was attacking me, you think I'm gonna let it that's live? That's defensive. No, did, no, see, that's did, what I'm saying. Did the cows, pigs, and chickens no. attack us? Did the tree attack you? No. Did why the carrots I, attack why, you? Why would I chop down? Did the, the carrots attack you? No. If plants are sentient, let's I'll give you that, right? I'll even give you that. Should we stop breeding animals into existence by the billions every year so that they can eat all of those plants? The plant doesn't have a choice when you eat it. It you doesn't have a central like, nervous system. It doesn't have It doesn't make a difference about central nervous system. It actually does, because that's how you feel pain. A central nervous system is how you feel pain. How you know that that does not feel pain? If you knew that plants didn't feel pain, would you consume them over the animals that you knew felt pain? I'm not gonna what, give you the what, answer what about, that you're looking for. <laughs> so you can try to pluck me all day. No, 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 no. To get that answer. What, it's not going to What happen. about that other being that didn't have no, no, a choice? No, no, it doesn't make a difference. What do you mean it, it doesn't, doesn't make, make a, difference? a difference? It's up to the person who even eat it. If you want to eat, eat, eat plants and they want to eat meat, that's up to them. You know, you know what? I, I mostly agree with you. The, the part I don't agree with is I think How you know, they... in, in, in the victim at the end, right? There is someone else. It's so, so imagine my look, look, look at the oh, world through man. my through my lens, through my lens these days is. I'm eating someone or I'm eating something. I've had people that have plants and that's their family, so they want to see nothing happen to them. Yeah. And I'm, I mean, speaking truthfully. I, and I agree with you, and I have seen that as well. The fruit from the tree, for example, we're not actually killing the tree. The tree invites us to take it. It's either oh, brightly covered or, it's, <laughs> or, or it <laughs> smells good or it tastes good, it's sweet. And we literally spit out the seed and it grows another one right yeah. so how how amazing is that that we can do that without actually tearing down the tree like you say the tree bear fruit animals bear fruit and people will eat those those fruit well, that's their and entire fruit. existence it, so but fruit that came off that that tree entire existence the fruit usually fruits as much as you want it to and you can replant yeah, but, and but, but see you have a cow and it produces calves and calves and calves and calves and calves mm -hmm. but you keep that cow like that tree and it produces that fruit. So, so you're sexually exploiting the cow, and that's okay. <laughs> I want you to go vegan for at least a week. <laughs> How about if I just do it on Fridays? I'm a Catholic. Now, baby steps, you're saying, oh, maybe I'll just do it once a week, right? But baby steps are for... <laughs> Babies. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the most helpful thing you can do to help the animals is to share this video far and wide. One share could reach millions of people. Let's all do our part in making the world a better place. It starts with you. Thanks for watching.
Join us in spreading the message of veganism. Please visit patreon.com forward slash save lives. For as little as $3 a month, you can help us save lives and reduce animal suffering. We understand that not everyone can do what we do. By supporting us on Patreon, you become part of the solution, not the problem. Everything helps, and your help will save lives.